Arbitrary waveform generators are used to create signals to test circuits or systems. The Regal DG4000 series of generators provide two independent channels with identical capabilities. The most commonly used waveforms include sine, square, ramp, pulse, noise, and arbitrary waveform generation. The first five waveforms are generally referred to as the basic functions or waveforms. Let's introduce how to use the DG4000 to output a basic waveform. In this example, we will configure channel 1 to output a square wave with 2 kHz frequency, 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, 0.5 volts offset, a 90 degree start phase, and a 30% duty cycle. We will also configure channel 2 to output a sine wave with 2 kHz frequency, 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, a 0 volts offset, and a zero degree start phase. To configure the waveform and parameters of channel 1, press channel 1 on the front panel. Note that the channel 1 key on the user interface is illuminated. This indicates that channel 1 has been selected. Press square on the front panel to select the square waveform and the backlight of the button turns on. At this point, square and the parameter setting menu of the square waveforms are displayed to the right of the user interface. Press frequency period to highlight frequency. At this point, use the numeric keypad to input value 2. Then select the units as kilohertz from the pop-up menu. We can see the frequency value displayed on the screen, and the value is 2 kilohertz. The light spot above the value means that the cursor is in that current position. You can turn the knob to increase or reduce the parameter highlighted by the cursor. Press frequency period again, and period will be highlighted. Note that the frequency menu item switched to display period and the value is 500 microseconds, which is the reciprocal value of the frequency configured previously. Press amplitude high level to highlight amplitude and configure the amplitude as 1 volt peak to peak, which means the peak to peak value is 1 volt. The amplitude units available are peak to peak volts, peak to peak millivolts, RMS volts, and RMS millivolts. If the output impedance has been set to load, the units will also include dBm. The DC offset voltage units available are DC volts and DC millivolts. Here the offset is 0.5 volts DC. We can also set the amplitude by using the high level and low level menu items. In this case, 1 volt peak to peak offset by 0.5 volts is the same as a high level of 1 volt and a low level of 0 volts. Press the Start Phase key to highlight the soft key, then input 90 with the numeric keyboard. Then select the unit's degree from the pop-up menu. Press Duty Cycle to highlight that soft key. Then input 30 with the numeric keyboard and select the unit percent from the pop-up menu. You can also input all of the parameters above using the numeric keypad or knob. Now we have completed the configuration of channel 1 we can see the output waveform shape on the screen. Press output 1 to enable the output. Now let's configure channel 2 using the same methods. After you've finished, press Align Phase. The instrument will reconfigure the two channels, enable the generator to output the specified frequency and start phase for both of the signals. For two signals whose frequencies are multiples of one another, this operation will align their phases. If we connect the two channel signals to an oscilloscope, like the Regal DS2000 series, and press the Auto Soft key, we can observe the two signals. This concludes our introduction to using the Regal DG4000 Arbitrary Waveform Generator to output basic waveforms. The key points are choosing the channel, choosing the waveform, setting the output parameters for that waveform, and then selecting the output.